Hello, I'm Rachel Rubel with Fiberline Communications. Thank you for joining us for the latest in our series on the advantages of cloud computing. This week we will discuss the cloud computing advantage of automated data backup, recovery, and business continuity. Does your business have an IT backup, recovery, and business continuity plan in place? Is it a plan that will keep your business from shutting down if you have an extended IT failure? Could your company survive if you permanently lost all of the data on your servers? Have you assessed how much it would cost your business if you lost all computer services for 10 or more days? Do you have a clear understanding of the difference between data backup, disaster recovery, and a business continuity plan? Today, we will discuss the answers to these questions. Virtually every business creates, moves, and stores data. However, a good share of these companies do not protect or back up their data, and many do not have a proactive plan for restoring their data and IT systems in a manner that prevents a major disruption in business continuity. IT is heavily integrated into all aspects of your business. Without the use of your IT services, the functionality of your business would undoubtedly grind to a halt. There are important differences between data backup, disaster recovery, and business continuity. There are several ways that you can back up your data. These include methods as archaic as on-premise tape drives or off-premise storage options like Mosey or Carbonite. One major weakness of on-premise data backup is that if your building is damaged or destroyed, you will probably lose your backed up data. Mosey and Carbonite store your backed up data at off-premise locations so that if your building is destroyed, you will continue to have access to your stored data. A major weakness of Mosey and Carbonite, however, is that they are consumer-grade options. As we will discuss in detail later, consumer-grade data backup is not ideal for system restoration and or business continuity. Unfortunately, businesses that often do a good job of data backup have not planned for what happens, for example, if your servers get destroyed or stolen. Your data may be backed up, but where are you going to put it? How long will it take for your company to acquire and set up new servers? Load your operating system, load your application software, then reacquire all of the backed up data from off-premise storage. It can take between one and two weeks to obtain a terabyte of backed up data from Mosey or Carbonite. Imagine if you have a server that you have been faithfully backing up for five years. One day, that server crashes. Your plan might be to simply place the backed up image of your data on another server. Unfortunately, this often does not work because that image will be seeking the same hardware and embedded drivers that are unique to the server that crashed. Being five years old, that server is now obsolete, replaced by newer technology, and no longer offered. What is happening to your business and your customers while you may be spending days or weeks attempting to find solutions to this challenge? Business continuity is the ability to continue to operate your company without interruption. The leading causes of disruption in business continuity include, but are not limited to, data loss. Data loss often originates due to human error. Software corruption. This is often caused by failed backups. Hardware malfunctions, often caused by human error, electrical failure, or power spikes. Inability to access could be caused by snowstorms or floods. There are many other possibilities that could result in an IT disaster and disrupt business continuity. Businesses across the U.S. experience these disasters daily. Examples can include something simple like the plumbing of your building floods the floors above your server room, taking out all of your servers or a virus that wipes out all of your software and destroys your data. Fires totally destroy many businesses every day, and natural disasters like Hurricanes Katrina and Sandy have each destroyed tens of thousands of businesses in one day. How much damage will it do to your business to be completely down for weeks? How much will it cost to have your employees sitting idle for this much time? Will your customers wait for you? Most will not. 
Many will seek to have their needs met in a timely fashion by your competitors. A good share of these customers will be lost permanently. 45% of all businesses that experience 10 or more days of ongoing disruption in business continuity never recover and usually go bankrupt. Cloud computing provides automatic data, application, and system backup stored in multiple locations. With cloud computing, following the worst of natural disasters, your business can continue critical business processes such as CRM, financial like QuickBooks, inventory, email, and voice telephone service within minutes. For example, if the worst possible disaster like Hurricane Sandy hits your location on the East Coast, the computing systems of your business could be fully operational within minutes by retrieving duplicate systems with virtual servers, application software and data which have all been backed up in real time from data centers located on the West Coast. Cloud providers can offer preventive measures that most business owners cannot afford to implement themselves because the cost is too high. SAS-70 or SSAE-16 enterprise-grade data centers that cloud providers use for backup are often deliberately built at locations that experience fewer natural disasters and located where they can tap into redundant sources of bandwidth provided by varied transport modes and multiple carriers so that if one bandwidth source goes down, automatic failover systems provide access to bandwidth alternatives in real time. Cloud providers can afford to utilize the most robust security tools that include multiple layers of logical and physical security, including biometrics. This prevents unauthorized use of data and theft. Cloud providers are also able to utilize state-of-the-art, uninterrupted power supplies, UPS power backup, and top-of-the-line backup power generators. With cloud computing, you get service level agreements, SLAs, that can provide a written guarantee that key components of your IT system will be back up and running within two hours of a disaster. With cloud computing, your business continuity can continue or resume within hours rather than days, weeks, or months. If your building is totally destroyed or you cannot obtain access to it, you and your employees can use laptops or mobile devices such as tablets or smartphones to resume critical operations such as customer service from any remote location where internet service is available within minutes of the disaster. If your company has been utilizing cloud-based hosted PBX for telephone service during the normal course of operations, you and your employees can actually take your IP phones with you when evacuating for the disaster and resume normal telephone communications from anywhere in the world where they can obtain internet access. All telephone features such as voicemail, call forwarding, conference calling, etc. will remain fully functional. If your company uses virtual desktops, another great offering of cloud computing, you and your employees will have full functionality of the most recent Windows operating system from any mobile device at any evacuated location that has internet. Thanks to national defense level encryption offered with cloud computing and the fact that none of your company's vital data will actually be stored on the mobile device but instead is stored on a secure server located at a secure location, your mobile device will simply serve as a portal to your secure network. Use of virtual desktops on portable devices is often more secure than the security systems you use at your business location. By utilizing cloud computing, regardless of where you and your employees evacuate to, you will sound and appear to your customers like you are still sitting in the office you evacuated from, with the full functionality of that office even if you are sitting in an internet cafe, enjoying a cup of coffee while you are working. With a good disaster recovery and continuity plan, your business will not need to experience significant downtime while your permanent IT system is being restored. Customers can be assisted immediately. There will be no loss of valuable data. Thank you for joining us for this discussion. If you have questions or if you would like a free consultation with one of our certified engineers, please give us a call or use the contact form on our website. A link to our website is located immediately below this video. If you would like to watch other videos which address related topics, please click on one of these green links. Or 
Click the link directly beneath this video to use our patented real-time pricing tool. This pricing tool is easy to use and there is no obligation. Our pricing tool will assist you in checking prices and availability for any business telecom service for your business location, including T1, Ethernet, Fiber, Voice, VOIP, larger circuits like DS3, Fast E, or Gig E, or networking between business locations for any location in the United States or international networks. Please visit our website at www.fiberlinecommunications.com. I'm Jody Ellen, the Director of Training here at Fiberline Communications. Thank you for joining us today for this training session.